Hi, welcome my dear students. Today we are going to see about four quadrant chopper. Otherwise, we can call that as type E chopper. See the circuit diagram is shown here. Four switches were there C1, C2, C3, C4 and the diodes are connected and parallel to the switches D1, D2, D3, D4 or diodes. And in between uh, the two uh, uh, legs R A, L A and E is there which is nothing but motor okay and here it is supply V S we can call that as supply four quadrant operation see here in the first quadrant forward motoring and in the second quadrant forward braking reverse motoring and reverse braking in the x axis we are taking current and in the y axis we are taking voltage so in the first quadrant both current and voltage are positive and in the second quadrant current is negative voltage is positive and in the third quadrant both current and voltage are negative and in the fourth quadrant current is positive and the voltage is negative this is the four quadrant and we are going to perform this operation in this circuit so for the first quadrant it is nothing but forward motoring motoring means from the supply to the motor otherwise we can call this motor as load okay from supply to motor means it is motoring okay so see here one more thing i want to tell you chopper is nothing but it is a circuit which is used to convert fixed dc to variable dc Okay, so where we are applying this chopper? See, each and every student you may uh, use RPS, regulated power supply in your uh, power electronics lab. There, what we are doing in the output of the RPS, you are converting, you are converting fixed DC to the variable DC from 0 to 30, otherwise 0 to 15. You might vary the voltage. You can able to vary the DC voltage. So in that place, we are using this chopper in the regulated power supply and also in the electric vehicles. If you want to change the speed of the vehicles means you are in need of the chopper because you want to vary the uh, voltage DC voltage there we are using chopper right so again uh, now we are going to see the first quadrant operation of the chopper circuit so see here the current should flow from supply to the motor so how it's possible see here from the supply to the load via this chopper 1 and the motor again through this uh, chopper C4 again to the supply. So like this supply C1 motor C4 again supply. See here I have drawn that circuit for quadrant 1. Have you able to see? Yes. Uh, see here in the quadrant 1 chopper C1 and C4 uh, the switches were on. And the supply is flowing through this which is to the motor. The circuit is shown here. Okay. So when the supply is turned off. Otherwise when the switch C1 is cut off. What will happen? The supply is cut off. When the switch C1 is off. This supply didn't get connected to this motor. Because it's off. What will happen? Then inductor stored energy is free wheel through the through the same R A L A and E. See it is shown here. Let me show it. Let me focus that circuit. When the chopper C1 is off. When the uh, switch. Uh, the power electronic switch C1 is off. Uh, uh, C1 is off. What will happen? The stored energy in the inductor is free wheeled. Want to free wheel. Want to dissipate the stored energy within itself. And it want to get ready for the next cycle. Okay. So see here. This chopper, this uh, switch is C4 switch is on. But this C1 switch is off means the supply get detached. Detached from the circuit. So what will happen? The stored energy in the inductor dissipates in the same direction. See here also this direction. Here also the same direction. Dissipates the energy via the diode D2. This is quadrant 1. So see here. The supply is appeared here as positive negative. So voltage also positive and the current direction is also here like this. So current and voltage both are positive. In the quadrant 1 we have seen quadrant 1. And for the quadrant 2. What is quadrant 2? It is nothing but forward braking. Braking means what? No need to connect to the supply. No need to connect to the supply. The supply is detached and you have off the supply. But till now the motor is rotating. 
you know the thing now if you are turning of the motor it not stop suddenly it will in the rotational movement for some time so in that rotational movement it is going to operate as generator and the mechanical movement that is rotation is going to store some energy in the inductor it's happening there in the quadrant 2 forward braking so there is no need for the supply but the current direction is negative see here the current direction is negative so the current here in the quadrant 1 the current flows like this but uh, here in the second quadrant the current flows like this okay in this direction the current flows so it is negative so the current flows in the negative direction why are the chopper so which one is possible see here in the circuit the current want to flows and stores the energy in the inductor itself means which should which switch should be on there at this time in second quadrant yes the current flows like this so within the inductor itself c2 and d4 get into the operation see here c C2 and D4 gets into the operation and inductor stores the energy which is going to convert the mechanical movement and store the power store the energy in the inductor when this switch is also gets turned off when this switch C2 is also turned off what will happen yes the stored energy in the inductor is fed back again to the supply in the same direction that is in the negative direction see here so the stored energy in the inductor is available when this switch c2 is also turned off means it is going to feed back the stored energy to the supply by a by a see here by a the stored energy in the inductor is going to feed back to the supply by a the diode d1 supply and d4 is already known okay so motor d1 supply and d4 it is shown here see it is shown here in this circuit motor d1 supply and d4 the inductor is going to feed back the stored energy to the supply by other diodes d4 and d1 okay this is quadrant 2 operation and coming to the third quadrant third quadrant it's also very important what about the third quadrant we have already seen the second so let us shade we have she is seen the second one and in third quadrant see the important thing both current and voltage were in negative okay so current and voltage both want to be negative see here let me show you so see here the voltage must appear here like this plus here plus and minus here then only it would be negative voltage and the current want to flow like this in this direction the current want to flow so what you would do if the current want to flows like this from the supply to the motor the current want to flows like this so which chopper get connected yes from supply the chopper otherwise the switch c3 and c2 would be in on condition then only this positive will be appear here then only the voltage is negative so if the current wants to flows means you want to reverse this emf the motor you want to reverse the motor uh, that i have shown here see i have explained uh, when the switches c3 and c2 were on means it is quadrant Three. See here, the voltage is also appear here. Plus minus. Few minutes before we have seen plus minus in the first quadrant and second quadrant. Here it is plus. Here it is minus. But here the voltage is also reversed, the negative. So the current is flows by on the uh, switch C three and to the motor and again to the chopper C two and to the supply. This is reverse motoring. Okay, supply to the motor from supply to the motor so again to the supply. See it is uh, seen here. here in the circuit see for your uh, reference i have shown it here when c3 and c2 on inductor stores the energy okay so when the switch c3 is turned off what will happen the supply get detached from the motor so for the stored energy in the inductor is again going to dissipates within itself by other by other diode by other uh, chopper and diode which is here I have the chopper and diode D4. Okay, I have the chopper C2 and D4. It is going to, it is going to stir, dissipate. It is going to free wheel the energy within itself in the same direction. See here, it is shown here. 
from the motor and the chopper is still now on and the the switch c2 is on and via the di diode d4 it's going to dissipate the energy within itself inductor dissipates energy via c1 d4 and we have seen the third quadrant now okay we have seen that and now the last quadrant which one is fourth quadrant and in the fourth quadrant uh, what is negative yes the current is positive and the voltage is negative so current positive means what current should flow in this direction current should flow like this current should flow like this it is positive current okay because in the fourth quadrant what in the fourth quadrant in the fourth quadrant current is positive current is positive and the voltage is negative so see here what see here in the fourth quadrant the chopper and the fourth quadrant is breaking no need to connect to the supply okay when the supply is off uh, the inductor is going to store the energy by the rotational movement of the motor so when the switch when the chopper c4 is on and the d2 the inductor is going to store the energy within itself the current is like this so positive current okay the current is going to the inductor is going to store the energy within itself and when the chopper is also off the stored energy in the inductor is going to fed back to the supply see here the inductor in the inductor is going to fed back uh, the stored energy to the supply via the diode d3 see here in the circuit also let me explain the stored energy in the inductor for the fourth quadrant the stored energy in the inductor is going to fed back is going to fed back to the supply via the diode d3 supply and again in the fourth quadrant when the chopper c4 is off the stored energy in the inductor is going to fed back to the supply which is shown here, shown here in the circuit see so the stored energy in the inductor when the chopper is off when the when the switch c4 is off the inductor is going to fed back the stored energy to the supply via the diode d3 supply d2 again this uh, continues okay so this inductor is going to dissipate the energy that is it is going to fed back the stored energy to the supply it is also called as regenerative breaking breaking means from load to supply that's all see in the circuit too let me explain the concept of uh, the fourth quadrant in the fourth quadrant uh, the energy is stored the energy is stored in the inductor via the diode d2 via the diode